Hi everyone, it's me, Elizabeth Sines, AKA Fairy Woman. And we are on day 30 of the Fairy's Guide to Being Human Magical Companion video series. It's day 17 in the book. Um, I first wanna just congratulate everyone to making it to day 30. When you do something for 30 days, then you are um, <clears throat> reprogramming your brain to make it more of a habit. So now you've made a habit, setting time down for yourself, working on yourself, getting that connection with the fairies. And I've made a habit of making videos. So I might just stick with this. <laughs> All right, so day 17, fairy message. You need to dance, not because it is appropriate, not because it is the right time. You need to dance for your soul. You need to express the truth in your heart to all those around you. This explanation cannot come from a mental place. Using the mind to express what is in your heart is like using Russian to explain a Japanese haiku. You might get some of the point across. But the deep understanding will not be there. Use your whole being to express these deep emotions. Use your actions, your choices, your state of being to express you. Let the emotion, sorry, let the information seep from every pore and shine through every cell. Do not try to cover and hide or dress up your truth so others feel, will feel comfortable. Do not make excuses for your truth or think someone else needs to comprehend it. You just need to express it and then let them accept, reject, analyze, judge, love, or hate it on their own. Be you taking care of you, making the best choices for you all while expressing authentically you, the fairies. So you need to dance isn't just about dancing, though it can be. Um, I do find that dancing is a way to break up the energy and move things around and help sometimes get in touch with those feelings. Um, when we have feelings stored inside of our body, movement can help shake them loose. Um, but this is also talking about how you move through life. Are you doing very controlled movements? Are you think overthinking your steps? Are you, um, you know, following orders of somebody else? Or are you dancing? And in, in dancing, you express yourself through movement. You allow what's in you move you. And um, that's what it's kind of talking about. And all that comes up into bringing out your truth. And, uh, you know, I think it's really important in this piece about you just have to express it and allow others, they can accept it or reject it, love it or hate it. That's, that's not your business. That's their business. Your purpose is just to express your truth and be you and make your choices as you move through your life and your path. Action step. Today is a me day. Make choices that feed your soul. Follow your intuition, no matter what others are telling you. Dress in the attire that makes you feel good. Eat the things that bring you joy and make your body happy. Listen to music that lifts your spirits and dance, dance, dance. Um, I think it is really important to do self-care. And sometimes self-care means getting the focus back on yourself. <laughs> Often that's what it means. We get so busy taking care of everyone around us, putting our focus there, especially women, especially mothers, but it happens for everyone at different levels. Um, but it, you have to take some set the time, set days where you're gonna put the focus back on you and take care and feed your soul and feed your body and do the things you need to do to take care of yourself. Um, so that's part of the me day. Me day is not taking care of other people's feelings and taking care of your own for a day. That's it. So it could be just taking a nap. It could be just saying no to a couple things. It could be dressing the way you want, eating what you want, whatever makes you feel like you're taking the power back and doing something for you. So I hope you have a very magical me day today. And I will see you tomorrow.